Hello, Mark Fulton here from markfulton.org. I want to tell you the true story of Jesus. I've been studying this for about six years and I'm burning with some truths that I need to share with you. Jesus was very, very Jewish and he was very poor. His biological father may have been a Roman soldier. Palestine, where Jesus lived, was part of the Roman Empire and the average Jew deeply resented the fact. The Romans were foreigners in God's holy land. They burdened the peasants with heavy taxes. The average Jew dreamt of a Messiah that would liberate them from the Romans and put the Jews where they thought they belonged at the top of the world's pecking order. Jews who fought against Romans were known as zealots. Galilee, where Jesus grew up, was the heartland of Jewish zealotry. I believe Jesus was a zealot. He lived like one, he talked like one, and he died like one. How do I know? Well, it's in the Bible. Two of Jesus' disciples, Simon and Judas, were specifically named as zealots in the Bible. Three of his other disciples, James, Peter and John, had nicknames that were commonly given to zealots. You can tell a lot about a man by the company he keeps. King Herod executed Jesus' cousin, John the Baptist, on suspicion of being a zealot. We know this from independent secular historians. Herod tried to kill Jesus too. Herod didn't tolerate anyone who tried to undermine his rule. Jesus said, Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. It is not peace I have come to bring, but a sword. These were the words of a true blue zealot. The Gospels have it that Jesus wandered the countryside teaching social ethics. I don't believe that for a minute. Jesus was campaigning to start a war. He wanted to be a king. He said, But as for my enemies who do not want me for their king, bring them here and execute them in my presence. Luke chapter 19 verse 27. These were not the words of a man preaching peace and goodwill amongst men. Jesus did not perform miracles. There is not a single miracle in the book of James, Jude, Peter, John or the 13 Pauline epistles. These books were written well before the Gospels, which are the only books in the Bible that mention Jesus' miracles. It's impossible to write a biography of a person who, who performed miracles without mentioning that that was a fact. Miracle stories were invented by evangelical gospel authors. When Jesus thought he had drummed up enough su support, he triumphantly rode into Jerusalem on a donkey on Palm Sunday. The crowds cried out, Hosanna, to their king. Hosanna was the ancient Jewish cry of independence. Jesus said to his disciples, If you have no sword, sell your cloak and buy one. Luke chapter 22 verse 36. He was getting his Jews ready for a big fight. Pilate was told what was going on and sent 600 soldiers to arrest Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus' supporters were terrified and ran away. Imagine being confronted by 600 sweaty Roman soldiers in the dead of night. Pilate wouldn't have sent this many men to arrest a benign preacher. Luke had the chief priests and scribes take Jesus to Pilate and say, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to pay taxes to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ, a king. Luke chapter 23 verse 2. Pilate asked Jesus if he was king of the Jews, and Jesus answered, It is as you say it. Jesus admitted he was a zealot, and that he wanted to be a king, and effectively signed his own death warrant. Crucifixion was a horrible, degrading death that the Romans reserved for the worst criminals. As Jesus was dying on the cross, he may have wondered if the Romans would ever be defeated. The Gospel authors created history by blaming the Jews for his arrest and murder, but it was the Romans who were the Christ killers. Anti-Semitism had its birthplace here in the Gospels. 
I think to worship Jesus on a crucifix is rather macabre and in poor taste. If Jesus was somehow still alive today, his stomach would turn at the sight of a crucifix. The resurrection of Jesus is mythical. I know that for many reasons, but one of the main reasons is that the original version of Mark's Gospel, the first Gospel to be written, didn't mention the resurrection. How did the story of a brave Jewish zealot get replaced by the Jesus worshipped in today's churches? Come in St Paul, the real founding figure of Christian theology. Please have a look at my next video. Thank you for listening.